<laughs> it does? No, it's supposed to look like a spider. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. You already know we're gonna jump right into it. First things first, our First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream to moisturize and then to fill in my brows, I'm gonna go ahead and use Max. Um, Deep Dark Brunette in their fluid line. I started this video a little different just because, you know. Anyway, so the first color we're applying is from our Morphe M35 palette. This is the color called uh, Peachy King, surprisingly. It's a cool tone brown. That's <laughs> will turn tomorrow, as a matter of fact. So she can come tomorrow. So we are using Inglot's gel liner in the color number 77. I'm using a MAC 217 brush to uh, fade out that line um, just so it's nicely blended. going into my crease with Morphe's M513 with the color Peachy King from the same palette and then I'm gonna go over the black with the color um, this black color black magic and I'm just pressing that onto the lid and then for my inner corner I am using the color light of the party and this is that was with a Mac 221 brush and the liner that I'm using is Max Brush Stroke Black. I'm just using that to line, make a thin line across my lash line. And for the face, we are using uh, Fenty Beauty's Instant Retouch Primer. And to color correct, I'm using the Master Camo in the color Apricot. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers because it's what I normally use. <laughs> I try to use brushes for you guys, but honestly, your fingers do just fine. So I'm just using my fingers to go ahead and blend that into my skin. And for foundation, I'm using Too Faced Born This Way in the color Chai. And the brush that I'm using is by Bare Minerals. It's, a, it's called a soft focus brush. I don't know. Anywho. Uh, now using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is in the color Maple. And I've already said how much I love this concealer just because I just like how big this wand is or application applicator. I like how big it is. I like how it distributes product. So you'll be seeing it a lot. And because I felt like my look just needed to be a little bit brighter, I went in with Makeup's Revolution Concealer in the color C12. And, and for my contouring, I am going to use, well, as you can see, Black Opal's foundation stick. This is in the color Suede Mocha. And I'm sorry I didn't uh, add in the footage of me blending in my concealer. It just, it takes too long on camera. <laughs> um, but like this video if you would like me to keep it in. Anyway, I'm using a Real Technique sponge um, to go ahead and buff that into my and so yeah so I set my concealer with Derma Blends translucent powder in original and now I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in a color mahogany um, and I'm going to go ahead and dust away I dusted away my translucent powder without an actual powder this time and it turned out really nice. So I don't know if maybe I was leaving it on too long before, but it turned out really nice this time. So gonna have to try it again, but who knows? The brush that I'm using, just a random brush, the probably the biggest brush that I have in my collection of brushes. So yeah, any brush would work. So I don't know if it's the brush or the time that I left it on there or what. But let's get into the reason for this video. So using um, NYX 
liner i am drawing my spider legs you guys this video was so challenging because i was trying to show you what i was doing without throwing my head into my mirror which i did a few times so please forgive me but yeah i <laughs> i was totally finessing this look like look at my sp these are supposed to be the back legs of the spider and the first eye, which is my right eye, did not turn out exactly the way I wanted to, <laughs> but my other eye does. So I'm just going to keep quiet and let you guys watch, and I will be back once I do something different. <laughs> Now I'm taking MYX's uh, liquid liner in the color white, and I'm just going in and filling in the little holes or spots on the legs just to give it um, a more 3D effect. And this liner I used in my pop art video, so it was really dirty. I had to go back in over my white with a separate liquid liner, which is also by NYX. It's just the, the separate one with the applicator um, is what I went back over the white with. So what you see here is not what you see at the end of the video. And I don't believe that I recorded that portion of it. So just keep that in mind. And now I'm going back into Peachy King, which was the brown that I used in my crease. And I'm just drawing the shadows of the legs. And I will say that if you attempt this look, make sure that you draw the shadow a little further away from the legs. And that's gonna give it more of a 3D effect. And also make sure that your shadows all align with the same side. Like with this eye, I totally jacked it up. I did the shadows on one side and switch to the other side on the same part of the body like you'll see me do it at the bottom on the bottom legs and i don't know what i was thinking i don't know you know how you just i guess this was my practice eye <laughs> It does? No, it's supposed to look like a spider. All right, guys, so now I'm using a random gloss and I'm going to take the NYX pigment in green and the Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter in the color Mystic. I mixed the pigment with a little bit of the, the gloss on a little makeup Petri or makeup, uh, what do you call those things? I don't know. Yeah, make a Petri dish, I guess. Anywho, I mix the gloss and the pigment together and I use a brush just to brush that on like lipstick. And I apologize that I am blocking this. I was so into trying to put this on. <laughs> trying to put it on neatly that I completely blocked you guys from seeing what I was doing. Okay, yes, now I'm remembering I'm recording for YouTube, right? Right. You see the other eye? Look how good the other eye looks. 
I had to come off camera to do it because I'm like, I need to focus. So <laughs> I promise I will get better um, at showing you guys everything that I'm doing, but it is very, very difficult to film certain looks. And this is one of them. Anyways, I'm just putting the glitter right on top of that gloss. So I didn't add anything to the glitter. I didn't add anything to my lips. I just simply poured the glitter out and I pat it and packed it on to my lips. And so that, that's basically all I did for this look. All right, guys, here is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in to my madness. <laughs> if you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, go ahead and stay a while. Click the subscribe button. I would love to have you back. And if there's anything you would like to see, go ahead and leave it down below. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.